Hello Sage, welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is episode July three and four for Sage, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. So let's see, what are the messages please for my Sage, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, please and thank you. Serious. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups. All right, so that's a good start. All right, so um, a new love, new feelings. Okay, you could be weeping here as well. All right, I'm getting that you're crying a lot. You can't control your tears. We do have the Death card um, because something is over. All right, or something is about to change, and you know it's about to change. This could be your body. All right. Yeah, I'm, it look. It looks like. Okay, now it could be a Scorpio telling you that this is over. I'm done with this. I don't want to do this anymore. You know, I want this to change. And, and here you are, Sage. So that could be very hurtful depending on who's saying what to who. But this could be this could be the water sign. Maybe they're crying because, I don't know. Let's see. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting these are tears of joy. All right, we have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so you're getting something that you want. Something is, somebody changed. It could be a Scorpio. All of a sudden, somebody is becoming more loving, maybe even more sexually active with you. All right. This could be a new sexual position that somebody is willing to try. They want to try a new position, and they're, I mean, they're open for that. Okay. So that's good. I'm getting, this is about making love. All right. I'm getting to this could be, maybe this is like your first orgasm with this person. You're like, wow, somebody really got the job done. Okay. So let's see. We have the two of cups. Yeah. So somebody is, wow, this is really sweet. It could be a Cancerian. Okay. So I'm getting like something is being renewed with you and this person. All right. I'm getting, you guys are making love for the first time in a long time. I'm getting a lot of love is being made. There's a lot of sex being had. I'm getting, you guys are just completely enamored with each other in love, head over heels. Like you only have eyes for this person. Okay. Let's see. And then we have the six of pentacles. All right. And then we have the four of cups. Okay. So it looks like something is changing and it's making you sad. Okay, so I'm getting like everything was going well in the beginning. There was, I mean, you fell in love with this person, love at first sight. The chemistry was amazing. The sex was amazing. This person was everything that you could have possibly imagined. They were sensitive. They were a gentleman. I'm getting to like somebody is very well endowed. They really know how to satisfy you sexually. I'm getting the love you guys were seeing eye to eye. You guys, you know, you guys were making headway. And then all of a sudden something shifted. Somebody changed. I'm getting... Their attention started going towards somebody else or towards something else, maybe work. I'm getting to maybe a work situation changed and it kind of changed the whole dynamics of the situation. They didn't have the money anymore or they just, I don't know. It's like they stopped giving attention to the relationship as much and start giving it elsewhere because we have the four of cups here. So it's almost like this person, is, it, it feels like somebody is losing interest or maybe you are losing interest in this person this could be sexually as well or this could be attraction too because you feel like somebody is changing maybe not for the better or somebody is bringing out the worst in you or somebody just changed like out of nowhere is, is what i'm getting what's the six of pentacles i'm not getting it's a big deal though maybe somebody maybe somebody is just changing jobs or they took a pay cut or something i'm not because the death card is a major arcana, but there's nothing about this reading that's alarming me so far. All right, so what, what's the Six of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, yeah. It's like something became stressful all of a sudden or somebody became a burden. Maybe too much sex. Like too much of a good thing, it, it can cause somebody to become bored or maybe exhausted. Okay, so this could just be like maybe this person is tired of having sex. They want to take a break for a couple of days. You guys have sex all the time, like a lot. Maybe too much for this person, you know. We do have the Empress, though, and the Magician. I'm not saying anything negative. All right, what is the Ten of Wands? Okay. But maybe it is the, the sexual activity. It's too much or... It's too often. Okay, what's the Ten of Wands? It's like somebody was keeping up appearances. This, this is not who they truly were. Like somebody was being very romantic. But I'm getting it's too hard to keep that up. Now somebody's going to show their true colors. That's 
probably not who they really are. They're probably not that romantic all the time. What's the Ten of Wands? Okay, so I'm getting something is like in a rut, something like maybe, okay, let's see, Ten of Wands. Yeah, the, yeah that's, that's what I was getting. Somebody just changed from being very warm and passionate and sexy and loving to being very cold and detached. I'm getting somebody just up and lost interest. Like, I'm getting, like, that's what I was getting. Somebody is tired of keeping up appearances. Somebody is tired of playing the Romeo or they're tired of romance. And, like, all of a sudden, somebody just shifted to being a cold asshole. Like, ice cold. Because I'm getting, like, somebody is, this is really, it comes down to attraction and sex to me. I'm getting this person does love you a lot, but they just, it's too much sex. I'm getting somebody is an intellectual and they want more of that. They want an intellectual conversation once in a while. They want to just sit there and not make love, maybe not hold hands. They, I'm getting somebody wants a mixture. Somebody wants balance. I mean, somebody wants intellect and passion, not just one side. So I'm getting like somebody is stressed out because they want something more. They want, they, they want to be mentally stimulated as well and not just be somebody's sex like sex horse is what I'm getting. What's the four of cups? What's the four of cups? Yeah, I'm getting like somebody, somebody wants someone that they can have a, you know, intellectual conversation with maybe more often than sex. I'm getting like, you know, all right. What's the four of cups? This is very, a very plain. And yeah, the judgment. So somebody could be flat out telling you like, look, um, I don't know. Can we go to the library more? Can you, I don't know. It's like somebody wants you to be like, I'm not going to say smarter because you are very wise, but somebody wants you to be more intelligent because wisdom is not the same thing as intelligent. Wisdom is different. Like somebody likes to talk. Somebody is very open minded. I mean, you could be very religious or spiritual, but I'm getting somebody has an open mind. They like to talk about different things, maybe space, aliens, just different things. Not just religion all the time, even though that could be fun, depending on who you're speaking to. But I'm getting this person, they want you to expand your mind a little bit. I'm, I'm getting the relationship is mostly based on sex and like romance. And I don't know, this person may feel like it's kind of, I don't know, corny or cliche. What's the, what's the, king, what's the king of swords? What's the king of swords, please? Because I'm getting this person is an intellect. Maybe you are intellect sage and you want somebody who's a little more intellectual. All right, let's see. The King of Swords. Because I kind of feel like it's a hassle trying to have a conversation with this person or just trying to be more intellectually based. It's, it becomes stressful trying to talk. I'm getting when you guys are making love, things are great. But once you guys start talking, it becomes you completely lose interest in this person. Okay, what's the King of Swords? Like you go cold. Like after the sex, after you guys have sex, it's like, okay, I'm going to go to my corner. You go to your corner type of thing. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, you go right back to work. You like you go right back to reading your book or you put your head down or you just focus on something else. Yeah, I'm getting you want to change in your relationship. I'm getting it's a slow burn. You want you want this person to be, I don't know, more studious, more learned, more focused on like work or working something out. OK, what's the judgment? Maybe you want somebody to get a job. All right. What is the judgment? Yeah, the king, the queen of wands. Yeah, I'm getting you're telling somebody, look, we have, you know, it's too much sex. It's too much passion. Can we work on us or can we work on the relationship? Can we talk? Can we have a conversation once in a while? I'm getting all you do is have sex with this person and you want something more, not just like relationship wise. You want something more mentally. Okay, what's the ace of wands? I'm getting like somebody is very infatuated with your like with your package, like with your dick size or like how wet you are. The sex seems to be really good here, but I'm getting that's all it is. What's the two of cups? Because I'm saying there's love here too, but there is no type of conversation or intellect that goes on. It's, I'm getting it's mostly about sexual contact and I'm getting that gets boring. Even that gets boring too. What's the two of cups? Yeah, the 10 of cups and we have the, the hierophant. It did come out inverted. Okay, so I'm getting two things. Maybe the relationship was very blissful at first. It's a happy relationship, but there's no conversation and maybe you're okay with that. Because I'm getting you are happy. You know, you do have happy times with this person. They make you laugh. You guys, you know, you guys laugh together. But I'm, I'm getting there's like, I'm not getting anything negative though. So maybe, maybe you guys are newly wedged. Maybe you guys just got married and you guys are getting to know each other and you're finding out that this person... They pretty much focus on sex and that's all. So you kind of have to cut them off or. Okay, what is the what is the ace of wands? 
What is the Ace of Wands, please? Yeah, the, I mean, Knight of Cups, okay? But I'm not getting anything negative, though. I'm getting sometimes somebody goes cold. Somebody is very focused on their work. Somebody is very diligent. They're, they're very, they, they, can't, they like their work. But I'm getting otherwise that everything is, seems to be blissful, peaceful. You guys, make, you guys have great sex. I'm, I'm getting the chemistry is amazing. Sometimes their attention might not be on you or their attention might not be on sex or they may be stressed out because of work. But I'm getting overall the situation is a good one. I'm getting it something that you guys can definitely work through. Maybe you need to lo you need to lighten your workload, Sage, or they do. They work way too much or too many hours or something like that. I'm getting something about the, their work you don't like. They're at work too much. I'm getting that's why you want them so bad because they spend a lot of their time at work. You, you like to sex them. You love them. You are enamored. What's the Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups? Yeah, the World card. Interesting. Okay, so that I wasn't expecting that. So it looks like something started, but it quickly ended. Now this could be due to some, maybe somebody met somebody at work and they, the chemistry was crazy and it kind of just changed the relationship that you guys had together. Cause it's like, damn, who did you meet at work? Now you're not interested in me. The sex stopped, the chemistry. Okay. What's the, what is the uh, queen of wands? But I'm also getting two. If there was a third party, that's possibly over. If there was somebody new in the picture, that's over. You guys are coming back to just being two. All right, so I'm getting the third party situation. That's over and done. If that's what you're worried about, that situation is over. I'm getting this person is apologizing to you for this. Okay, and it's it's getting better. You're going to have a second chance with this person. All right. Yeah, the four of pentacles. Yeah, so I'm getting two. Like somebody left their job. Okay, or somebody's going to somebody's going to work less to accommodate you and spend more time with you and you like that. Okay, it could be an earth sign. I'm getting a lot of earth energy, but somebody who likes someone who's a workaholic and I'm getting their work, it kind of makes them cold and they kind of hold back from you. Okay, but I'm getting it's it's going to be repaired. It's actually going to be okay. There's a lot of love between the two of you guys. Okay. All right. So let's get some love oracle cards here. Love oracle cards. Let's see. Yeah, we have true love. This person truly loves you honestly and genuinely. The love that the love here is very sincere. I'm getting work could possibly get in the way sometimes because one or both of you are stressed out about your jobs or stressed out about someone that maybe somebody met somebody at work and there was an affair, but I'm getting all is well that ends well like somebody is going to apologize for this you know the new person maybe having a one night stand or something like that but this person does truly love you and the chemistry is still there okay we have new love yeah so this could be somebody new maybe you did meet somebody at work and you you guys instantly clicked and this is the person that you want to be with you're finding out it's like you you truly love this person they truly love you even i'm getting both of you could be very stubborn but it's like something about this person that you understand they understand you you have it's like some you have an understanding with this person yeah we have trust so that could be the thing you guys could be both suffering from trust issues but i'm getting you're going to get a second chance with this person it's going to be fine this is a very good reading we have chemistry and very soon yeah so i'm getting i'm getting nothing can stop this love it's meant to be there i'm getting there was some hiccups but that's going to be ironed out as well okay so hopefully this helps you don't forget to like the video leave your comments and subscribe thanks for watching bye